Yeah, so of course I had to come over here because the smell of nachos drew me here to tease Ryan tease. Howard. Yeah, what's up, brother? How are you, dude? So nice to meet see you. you. Absolutely. Okay, so this is not something you see at every trade show. Like an authentic nacho warming bin and like gooey, slathery. I mean, the name alone, like. I, I walked by and my nipples were like. <laughs> my wife did it. My wife came up with the name. I'll give her full credit. It was pretty nice. It's a tease, you know? It's the thing about it. It's a vegan cheese, but it teases you. It's like, like a, you know, like a regular dairy cheese. Except one thing, obviously, it's cruelty free, but it's also low fat, which the other vegan cheeses can't say at all. Obviously, you wanted to provide something non dairy, something really healthy for vegans and people who just can't have dairy alike. So, what was the birth of this company? My business partner and I, Dan, we wanted to do something. Okay, we wanted to do a business. I was a project engineer working for a big food company. I've been vegan 19 years now, and we knew that we wanted to do something that was vegan, you know, like an extension of our activism, because we, you know, 10, 15 years ago, you know, we were guys in our underwear in front of, uh, you know, in front of first stores, okay? And, <laughs> and as time's gone on, you know, it's like we want, we want 24 hours a day to be doing some type of outreach, some type of activism. And we thought, well, instead of taking time out from nine to five, we can have our business be an extension of our activism. So what we did was uh, essentially we started out with a vegan ice cream called Temptation, which some people may remember. We came up with a really good vegan ice cream that ended up evolving into what was Temptation. Um, and so it just, we were like, well, we need to focus on niche vegan products that people use as excuses to stay vegetarian right. or to stay, you know, eating meat or dairy or stuff. You know, right. we're like, we want to remove those excuses because a lot of people are just lazy and they're not going to go vegan for the animals. Right. So screw it, we're going to make replacements for those people. So I worked on vegan cheese, came out with teas. And that evolved, and then uh, then we got into the marshmallows, the Dandy's vegan marshmallows. You've had you those, guys are, right? No, I haven't. Dude, listen. At this point, <laughs> load me up with some cheese. Let's do it. Load me up with some marshmallows. Yeah. And 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 my mouth needs some love. We'll right keep now. them separated. We'll have uh, we'll have dinner, and then we'll have dessert. This is a uh, little quesadilla that okay. we made. Again, it's low fat. Is this like a mozzarella? Inside? This is a mozzarella and our cheddar. Yeah. We have two firm cheeses. Okay. And then we have the two sauces. So we've got a mozzarella and a cheddar blend. <sighs> Mm, the taste is dead on quesadilla. My tongue doesn't feel like greasy or coated or like sometimes when I've had like non-dairy vegan products, I feel like I have to cough something up like a, like a, yeah. this is so clean. A lot of them, you know, I mean seriously, like, mm. the other vegan cheeses, like 25% of it would be fat. And ours is not. This this here is uh, three grams of fat per serving. It's a little fat. What is the so, base? What what's the base? It's tapioca. It's tapioca. Yeah, yeah, it's tapioca. A little bit of soy. Okay. Um, and there mm. you go. Healthy vegan cheese. And this is that... even less fat. It's one and a half grams. I mean, it's like not only did you guys nail the color, you nailed the action, right? Because it's all about the action. Yeah. Look at that, freaking nachos, vegan nachos, yeah. dude. You guys. I'm nailed. really happy. You're happy with that. That means a lot. Nail. In fact. Ah, vegan cheese that melts and stretches and tastes and smells like cheese. Let's we'll squeeze it on. So, it. if people out there want to find you guys, what's the website? What kind of distribution do you guys have? ChicagoVeganFoods.com. Distribution is across the country. UNFI, DPI, Tree of Life, Sunbelt, Whole Foods Market. There we go. Go to Whole Foods Market, pick it up. You guys, rocking the amazing, healthy, low fat vegan cheese with tea here at Expo East. Ryan, thank you so much, bro. That was awesome. freaking awesome. Thanks, thank man. you. Appreciate it. All right, guys, this is J-Row here with the Lolo on my favorite products at Expo East in Baltimore. Let's cause some more trouble, shall we? Hey, everybody, it's Jason Robel here, rocking it at Expo East in Baltimore, showing you guys my absolute favorite products from the show. And I'm here with Hillary's Eat Well, my favorite veggie burgers on the market. And I'm here with Marissa Ford. Tell us about the two amazing burgers you guys have. Tell us about the ingredients, the intention of the company. Just yes. give people the download. We have the world's best veggie burger and we have an adzuki bean burger. Um, Hillary actually started them. Um, she started a local burger restaurant back in our hometown in Lawrence, Kansas. Um, a lot of parents were coming to town because it's where the University of Kansas is at. So a lot of parents were coming um, trying the burgers at her restaurant and calling the store and saying, "What? where do we get these burgers? This is what the package is going to look like on the shelf. I know this is special packaging, Marissa. This is, this is a biodegradable it's package? biodegradable packaging. Wow. 
It's the only burger on the market that has this. It's not Photoshop. That's like how good the burger actually is. Let me tell you a little bit about the burgers. We start with millet and quinoa. We add coconut oil. Uh, we add vegetables. We take it one step further for the bean burger. We add azuki beans, cumin, chipotle chilies, spice it up a little bit. It's not really spicy, it's more zesty. Mm -hmm. A little bit more sophisticated. Kids tend to gravitate more towards the world's best veggie burger. The parents, adults like the, the zesty burger. I'm kind of a man child. I like a bit of both. Yeah, I'm a man on the outside, but a very small infant emotionally on the inside. So I, I eat both flavors. So is this the world's best? This is the world's best. Okay, now listen, I know I'm going to be plugging Whole Foods here for a moment, but we had a conversation. I went to Whole Foods in LA and I was waiting for months, finally, for Whole Foods to get these burgers. And I walk in and they have a giant freaking end cap freezer chest and it says, Hillary's Eat Well Veggie Burgers, two for five dollars. That's a dollar twenty-five per burger. So that whole like opposition people saying, oh, it costs so much to eat vegan. It costs so much to eat organic. Dollar twenty-five for an organic vegan superfood burger. Amazing. Hardly blowing the bank. Yeah. Right. Mm. And I yeah. just can't stop freaking eating the burger. <laughs> My mouth is kind I of can. watering. I actually. can. I can. You want to bite too? And I am around it all the time. But you're not sick of them either. No. And that speaks volumes about yes. how great these are. Yes. I eat a ton. You eat a ton. And. The reason I love these so much is, is it's a veggie burger, but it's not trying to be meat. Right. You can taste the quinoa, you can taste the millet, you can yes. taste the vegetables. Like the flavors are balanced. And that's why I love it is you, you can feel the highlights and taste the highlights right. of all the ingredients. Yes. It's not just meat and that dominates. And the number one ingredient is millet. Hillary chose that because it's a low water usage crop. Very sustainable. It's the only alkalizing grain. Millet is an awesome grain because it alkalizes your blood. You guys, you guys got to try this product because for me, you know, there are times when I'm just so busy, I don't have time to make food for myself. I know vegan chef can't make food for himself. It's crazy, but to pop these in the toaster or just lightly griddle them and add some nice sauce, some hot sauce, maybe some vegan cheese, it's such a quick, easy, and sustaining lunch. I mean, I have these for lunch all the time. So it's just a great, quick option. Again, super affordable, you guys. And um, if people want to find the products, you guys have a website they can go we to? We do. We have a store locator on our website. And it's Hillary's with one L. So H-I-L-A-R-Y-S, eat, E-A-T, well, W-E-L-L dot com. Awesome. And if you put in your zip code, it will find all the stores near you. When I find something that's this perfectly balanced, it's like everyone needs to know about it. I mean, it's it like it has rendered all other veggie burgers on the market completely void. I'm sorry. You guys are doing great. You are. But... <laughs> Y'all got some stiff competition up in this piece, okay? You guys check out Hillary's Eat Well. Again, that's with one L. Yes. The best, yes, the world's best veggie burger. <laughs> no BS. It actually is. They've got their Zuki bean burgers. Check them out. Support this amazing company who's not only vegan and organic, but sustainably packaged. You guys are hitting on all cylinders. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Jay Robel here at Expo East showing you guys my favorite products. I think there's a few more in store, y'all. So uh, let's eat some more veggie burger and... See what else is looking for us. Color? Mm. Yeah. Mmm. It's a freaking bastard.